and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Gruel Elementals. That's right, we are going to play an Elemental deck without Risen Reef. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So this was a, a new donation deck, and as you can see, we have three donation decks that we're playing here. Today's the three decks that, that I did not build, but look to be pretty sweet with this one, Four Color Discard and Jeskai Drakes. Um, hey, what's up, Lol Jaeger? Uh, but yeah, let's let's get to this one. So we are uh, as like so we're an aggressive deck as you've seen like gruel decks before. They're they're all about curving out and um, attacking. But then also there's a, a lot of good gruel planeswalkers that kind of give you um, another angle of attack. And that's what this deck's all about. We have our our creature base here highlighted with creeping trailblazer that gives our elementals plus one plus zero and overgrowth elemental um, that first grows an elemental but then each elemental that dies it grows itself so we have we have these two that are kind of like the base of our deck we have our different planeswalkers with our our two chandras and as you know with with the chandra tribal that we played yesterday i absolutely love this one and this one giving all of our elemental creatures plus two plus zero could be really strong in this deck and of course domri Scourger's is an under... I think this is an underrated card. You're starting to see this in quite a few decks these days. It's really a good, a good card, getting, like, the three different creatures. Um, you know, three... You know, it's 3-3 three, three for four as far as, like, power and toughness, which isn't great, but when you spread it off across three different bodies and give them all haste, and uh, you have things that can pump the power and have things that care about the different bodies, it's pretty nice. I'm excited about trying these Cavalier Flames also. So, like, this is, you know, being an aggressive deck here, um, it'll be interesting to see how Cavalier Flame uh, works with this one. So, yeah, this, this one looks pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and give it a try. So, just like all of our donation decks, yeah, that, this does look like a pretty clean list. That's a, that's a good description of how the list looks. All of our donation decks, we're going to play a League... See if we can get that five win dream. So let's see how Gruel Elementals does to, uh, to help us out for today. <laughs> yeah, no Risen Reef. All right, see how we do. Yeah, that is a perfect hand right there. And speaking of perfect hands, this one looks pretty perfect as well. Yeah, I could see a Living Twister in this kind of deck. Be a good blocker. Can put lands in the graveyard for Cavalier Flame. Give us some removal. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see a Living Twister in this kind of deck. Well, when we keep the two land hand, drawing five drop, five drop is as bad as it gets. Let's see what we get here. Four drop. Hmm. Still as bad as it gets. Hey, play first. Good afternoon. Or morning, evening. Let's do this. This is just going to be bad for you. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for me. That's true. Well, our hand looked a lot better before our four draw steps were five drop, five drop, four drop, four drop. Hmm. So there's only 12 of those total, so hitting four out of tw four of the 12. Not lucky. We got Shiv and Fire. Flame Sweep can do some stuff. Flame Sweep's kind of awkward in this deck. I um, guess that's the, about all we have for Mono Red. I mean, I guess we play this Brontodon. 
I'm a little lower on Bronze against Mono Red than a lot of people are. So we don't have an abundance of removal. Ah, uh, I see I see our problem. Twenty three land. That's kinda rough. Well, we have a lot of cards that we can take out that aren't going to be helping us too much. Um, hmm. I kind of feel like, so I don't want Cavalier Flames or Nyssa or some of these other things, but we can take let's take out a scourger a domery these ember cats the other domery so like the five drops are going to be really rough to cast to be honest but the five drops are so powerful that they can win us the games and winning games is as valuable as it gets in magic there's not really anything that's more valuable than winning games So I'm going to keep the cards with the potential to win games. Hmm. It's unfortunate to mulligan this hand. But this does not beat mono red. This is pretty awkward. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's right, we could just, yeah, best of one, it solves our land problem all the time. So I, I guess we're waiting to, like, flame sweep on three, seeing if there's steamkin here. So waiting could punish us if they have two if they have a one drop and then they have two one mana instants. Should be live the stage. Alright, I should have should have done that. Ooh, we, we got our first preview for the new set. Shadow. It would definitely been better to be able to go Chandra kill that thing, but we, um, you know, we have the rugged highlands there. I think I'm a decent enough pyromancer. All right, so we need to get Nissa in play. Like, I wanted to draw a land and be able to play Nissa, but Chandra does add mana for us, which, to be honest, we have a lot of things that add mana. Let's 
Is your opponent just sacrificing Frenzy again here? Chandra. Ooh. So two, three, four, five. Activate, have one left. Don't want them to auto tap wrong. All right. So we're gonna be able to attack, and after after we attack with the vigilance creatures, cast the flame sweep, and have it be lethal there. What's up, Chief Seth? Hey, good evening. Yeah, I, I haven't seen this card, whatever whatever the card is. I don't I don't know where the I don't know where it is or anything. I don't Yeah, it's an elemental deck without Risen Reef. Never gone to Reddit before. Um, you said it's in the Discord channel. All right, I can open up Discord. Let's see. The problem with playing Land War off here, of course, is Chain Whirler. Chain World is kind of a problem. Like I want a lava coil land. I want to go lot lava coil land war elf. But chain whirler is a problem. Oh well. Hopefully no chain whirler. We'll go this instead. Ah, there's my Discord. Are y'all sure this is a real thing? That doesn't look like a real card. All 
I only saw it. I only saw the plus ability. And I looked at the rest of it. Hey, Budacris. Alright, I'm good. Let me focus on a game. We had five mana for Cavalier Flame. Didn't have the, the triple red, though. Okay, yeah, if it's on Forbes, then it's, it's a real card. Looks like our opponent doesn't have too much of a hand. I think it's better to get the, the two Overgrowth Elementals in play before getting the Scampering Scorger. Hey, Pip. Huh. That's weird. That was odd timing. Draw lands, but we don't have any lands in this deck. Ugh, it's like game one, draw five drop. I could try double blocking, but the problem is if they had a burn spell, the double block wouldn't work. That's a bad sign. That's a really bad sign. Well, so far, I'm not too impressed with the 23 lands in our deck. But one game, one match. Really, really small sample. But from how that is playing out, I'm not sure I'd be very comfortable playing 23 lands here. Yeah, I'm like an... Yeah, I would... I'd rather have 25 than 23 as far as lands go, but again, that's just one match. You know, we don't want to like, it's just an ob observation to note. Uh, don't, we don't want to just, um, just, you know, snap to conclusions based on the one game. Understand that the deck does have a good amount of mana creatures. There's like the four Leaf Kindruid, the four, uh, Lanor Elf, there's a couple Domries, there's the Ember Cats. Uh, the Novice Pyromancer adds mana if you get to four. You said you're a big fan of 23 in a aggro deck like this? Hey, D-Chop, did we just play against you? Oh, did I put 1-0? Oh, oh, whoops, sorry, thanks. So GG's.
GG's. All right, let's see. Chandra or Domri? We got Revitalized deck over here. Revitalized deck could certainly be Counterspell deck. Yay, not Counterspell deck. Say hi to my fiery friends. Yeah, yeah, there's six five drops and six four drops. And like game one, that's all we drew. You know, we didn't draw any lands. And then game three, again at the end, that's all we were drawing, and we had our three lands. So not I'm not a big fan of that. Twenty three lands with all those expensive cards, but um, the thing is, if we get, if we do hit our land drops, means that our top decks are pretty good with not having very many lands. Basically, do we want, do we want Scampering Scorger out already? Not really. Let's get Chandra in play you first. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Go get him, buddies. Oh, gosh, look at all these friends. These two Chandras hit so hard with these aggressive creatures, though. But yeah, as you can see, like we hit four land drops here this game. And I think that's that's like really what our deck wants to do is hit like four or five land drops um, each game, and that's hard to do playing twenty three. <laughs> yeah. Let's try this. Russ says after playing a thousand matches, I have to say I'm shocked how different twenty three lands feels versus twenty four. It's a big difference how a deck plays. Yeah, it really is. And same thing from twenty four to twenty five. It's a big difference also. So they probably got settled, right? Man, so Domri is also pumping up our creatures. We have a lot of ways to pump our creatures, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, like, the, that's, yes, that's why the, this deck has 23 lands, is because there's so many mana producers. There's a bunch of, you know, like, there's Land War Elves, there's Ember Cats, there's Leafkin Druids. <laughs> Domri, Chandra, add mana. There's a lot of things that add mana. So it's understandable. Don't worry. I brought company. Yeah, I think it's I mean I think it's subtle as well. Could be like, you know, we saw Revitalize. Uh, this attack means that we're safe through Revitalize or a single removal spell. Uh, we still kill them because of the Chandra Minus. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? I'm gonna try something new. It's a matter of give and take. Yeah, it could be more settles. There were there were five different challenge like there are five different um 
events for the five uh, un unhinged lands. These are un unhinged lands. There are five events, one one for each land. So if you don't have all if you don't have all the unhinged lands, then you didn't do all of the events. I want to get three basics out of the deck. Another settle. I want to get three basics out. I'll trade. I'll trade that land we're all for a basic out of the deck. Hard to settle every single turn against little Chandra. So let's get these fries in here. Um, Awakened Inferno and Vivian are probably pretty good. I like the spike glass of knowing their hand also. Um, we got a, lo a lot of pretty decent stuff. I think I don't want Nissa as much. Yeah, because. I don't know, just wrathing away all the lands. It's kind of a feels bad. Uh, so Domri... So the thing is, is like, you know, Domri adds mana to help get to, like, these fives and sixes. But... That's, like, the good news. But bad news is... That's kind of all Domri does. I guess it isn't. I guess Domri is an anthem also. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut some Leaf Kindreds, because I guess Domri does more than Leaf Kindred. Okay, let's do that. I I believe um I believe the unhinged lands will be for sale still later in the in the store at some point, but I'm not sure about that. Because um, while we are a tribal deck, it's not like those are the only spells in our deck, our elementals, and the deck does still have cards like three mana Chandra, Domri, we have our different planeswalkers and everything, um, where unclaimed territory uh, instead of highlands would just be a colorless land when trying to cast anything else. I think you need to be really, really into uh, the tribal stuff and not really have, and like your spells that are not tribal spells are very easy to cast otherwise. For unclaimed territory. No, I, th I think just adding them one by one. Uh, there's there's like the filter for like whenever you're on the main when you're in the deck building screen. There's a filter for lands, um, you know, so you can you can click that so you're just at the lands. Uh, you can also click like the multicolor uh, filter so you can just look at just multicolor lands. Um, I'm known for my excellent timing. Trust me, I have a plan.
That's about all there is. This is hardly my worst defeat. Um. So I think that the, I think that Ferocidon hurts Teamer Extinction because I think Ferocidon makes, uh, Mono Red better, and I think that Teamer Extinction was not a good deck against Mono Red, to begin with, and. Mono Red will be better, and there will be more people playing Mono Red, and I don't think that's I don't think that was a, a favorable matchup for Teamer Extinction ori originally. They shock in here, huh? No, Settle's not made a huge comeback. Our opponent's playing it, but it's it's very rare to see it. Um, this may be the only person playing Settle that I've played against in the last month or so. It's it's not a card that's made a comeback at all. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flames. Let's get toasty. My weekend's been really good. Jock, yeah. Thanks for asking. Had a good weekend. Um, a lot of streaming. We did the sub battle stream on Saturday. Uh, and that was a 12 hour stream for that. But uh, besides that, just, you know, more of the same. Keeping the stream uh, schedule going each and every day. I. I don't know Mitten. Well, I actually haven't played you. Modern in a year. Um, I don't have any specific Modern deck of choice. So why not attack before Chandra? If... I mean, I wouldn't attack with the Land War Elf. It's unlikely with a blue-white deck, but if there's if we go to combat and then they have just some kind of like removal that actually kills my Land War Elf, then second main I wasn't going to be able to, to cast the Chandra. That's something that, that can happen more, usually more against uh, like black base decks with targeted removal more than blue-white, but something that could have happened. Something that I've certainly done before is see a land war off not attacking or a mana creature not attacking and kill it during combat so they don't get to use the mana second main this i should just be attacking first and then playing the other ones but cool we can uh, cycle through that with the cavalier Um, no, only vacation plans right now are, I'm thinking, <clears throat> the weekend before, and so just a couple weekends, the weekend before rotation. Taking the, taking the weekend off, um, and visiting some friends. Going to going to Canada and seeing some friends up there. Talking about user if you're in here. Hmm. Alright, so I don't think we need to Alright, so basically I'm being very patient here for a few reasons. Um, <clears throat> the biggest is we have this Chandra emblem going. So our opponent needs to act, because we have the Chandra Emblem going. So I'm not, I'm not letting Settle the Wreckage get me two for one. I'm not going to let um, a Cleansing Nova kill three creatures. 
But we have the two out there, so if they just play like play a Teferi and get rid of one of my creatures, or they just play a single removal spell, we still have the other one. Yes, Fry can be valuable. Fry could be valuable, you know, like to kill a, a Planeswalker, but honestly, at, at this point, with them having the Chandra Emblem, I just want to... Like, I don't... I'm not too scared of any particular blue-white Planeswalker currently. Oh, awesome video. Hey, wake. My way. I'm burning up here. Is it just me, or is it getting right, a little two warm emblems. in here? Playing less lands is really good against the settle deck. I mean, well, you know, like that, because they're gonna get you your lands for you, so. Increases the chance of you not drawing land. All right, Chandra's gone again. And burned here. I think. No, I mean, it wouldn't really make sense for just Cavalier or Flame to have hexproof protection from something. I think it is strong enough how it is right now. I like the card. I like I like all the Cavaliers. I think they're all uh, a well de well designed to cycle. I do like how they're like while the green one is a, you know a little bit more powerful than others. I do like how just overall um, they all have the same mana cost. And like they're all pretty similar and they all have the same mana cost. I like that. I've, I haven't liked in the past when they do like these cycles where um, you know a couple of cards in the cycle have like one you know maybe one card maybe two cards have like a lower mana cost and, and that's the one that gets constructed play more than the others because of it and never really liked that for example with your god eternals you have a uh, god eternal kefnet that costs four um and is basically just as good as the god eternals that cost five and like all the other ones cost five and so kefnet of course he's a lot more play that costing four so i'm i'm glad they all have like the same mana cost Let's see. That was a really this convenient draw step. Not dead yet. Keeping this land in hand because we could draw another Cavalier where we can discard the land. Cost less. If, yeah. Even though Kefnet's blue, if Kefnet cost five, um, it would be too slow to see play. Yeah, the district does kill Vivian. That's okay, though. I'm just getting damage on them. Um, you know, with having the two emblems, the more damage on them, the better. 
I always survive. You'll see. Could have been too aggressive. I could have I could have held the Ember Kitty back to chump. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I should have held back the Ember Kitty. Good draw. Get, do you get this two in? Ooh, that's a big two. It's a big two to get in there. Me later. Yeah. Yeah, Cavalier does have an ETB effect Hold of cycling cards from your of rummaging cards. I think if we draw nothing from land, nothing but lands, we're probably going to lose. I think we have to draw some kind of spell. Likely. That revitalize. And, you know, they'll probably find some other life gain. Hey, Narna, doing good. You don't, you don't need seven mana. Cavalier is just five mana, and you get the rummage. All right, not absorb. That's good. That's not absorb. Hmm. Yeah, the videos get uploaded immediately after I get done playing them. takes about an hour to upload we need to move quickly yeah it's a good question I guess it kind of depends so yeah like the question is like how much man would you suggest for a deck with an average mana cost of three um, it really depends on the type of cards you know like there there are cards that benefit um, more from or benefit from having more lands than than other cards. Um, you know, like depending on like what what's what's your deck do, but but you're probably like basically you probably want like twenty five lands, basically like twenty five is a is a really good land number for most standard decks. Um, That, that's what I would just kind of recommend uh, without knowing the deck or, or anything. I'd recommend 25.
So it should be lethal for my opponent as long as they minus their Teferi. We came up one turn short. Looks like I needed to chump block with the Ember Cat and keep Vivian alive because my next four cards were horrendous. So I needed to uh, tick up and get rid of those. take a time out yeah because the turn the 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 times i didn't attack yeah the reason why we didn't attack is because my opponent had mobilized district that was going to be able to block and kill my ember cat so yeah it was not an empty battlefield my opponent had a blocker they had a 3-3 blocker and my my 2-2 would have died to the 3-3 I have these Veil of Summers over here. I should play those against the deck playing counter spells. Get rid of these Leafkin Druids that don't matter. All right, maybe we should play some Nissas. I guess I was I was like worried about. Yeah, we'll play some Nissas instead of like Cavalier. I was I was worried about like my lands like dying to a wrath, but honestly. If they're, like, settling me and getting me more lands, I shouldn't be that worried about the lands dying. Spyglass is not a good card. Let's get rid of that. That's not going to be a, a good card for me. Yeah, we saw a lot of blink of an eyes. I can just bounce spyglass and activate their planeswalkers yeah i th i mean i i do think cavalier of thorns or well let's see never mind Yeah, so you can yeah, so we'd spyglass to fairy here of Dominaria. But that's only useful to us if a few things happen, you know, like them having the Teferi. Um, you know, we could say mobilized districts, we could say little Teferi. The, the problem with just like one spyglass though is if you name big Teferi, then little Teferi can bounce it. Um, you know, if you name the and then vice versa also. But between like their their bounce spells also it's not it's not like a permanent removal spell that trades one for one all the time it's like it can stop a planeswalker planeswalker for a little bit but as soon as they bounce spyglass and they draw a card with the teferi now even if you replay the spyglass and say teferi again they already drew a card so they already like trade one for one and and they gain a card and that's like best case and that that's if they don't have any they don't find more removal for it or or you know if it is just a bounce effect that's like kind of best case scenario for you Unfortunately, Rugged Highlands. It would have been really nice to have the Rugged Highlands earlier. Unfortunately, that's not going to let us play Chandra and hold up the Novice Pyromancer and hold up Veil of Summer next turn. <laughs> Chandra voice lines are so fiery. Voice lines are so fiery. 
I do like the Chandra voice lines. They're pretty good. So while Veil of Summer could protect from blink of an eye, blink of an eye at this stage of the game right here just isn't uh, isn't real valuable. How I, I didn't have anything else that I really wanted to play next turn without having Veil of Summer back up anyway. I'd, I'd rather trade for an actual removal spell uh, besides just a, a tempo spell. Ember Kitty. Chandra, nice to meet you. Oh, this is gonna work. I can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Okay, so reach into that ley line thing. I don't know, maybe I should just be playing Ember Cat there. Ember Cat lets me hold up Veil of Summer still, but then also can add mana. But Ember Cat doesn't like cast Nissa. Or, you know, doesn't really cast much in the in my hand except for the, the two elemental creatures we have. Ah, uh, dang. Sorry to hear that, Matthew. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I could play Nissa. And then on tap with Veil, but... Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Four four flying vigilance is pretty good. That was less than nine minutes. Maybe we should have gone this up. All right, so let's see. Man, if they're settle. I really don't want there to be settle. Oh, 
Hot, 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 hot! No. Through this land, we are all connected. Nature's true power. Oh, they're so cute. I really like basically any option that I have because it's settle. It's tough. Really just want to draw a removal spell for this 4 4, of course. Hmm. Well, that's Chemistry's Insights. That's pretty good for our opponent. Got a full hand over there. It's a good card. 4 4 with Vigilance. It's a good card, especially games 2 and 3 when you take out removal. Like, honestly, I probably should have kept my Lava Coils in. Oh, yeah, boot. Yeah, you gotta bring me there one, one year. I don't have enough swears right now. than having a plan. Basically, anything. Harness the elements. Um... So we can trade two lands for two other lands if they settle. It's not the worst trade. Find your fires of passion within. It's not the worst worst trade for us. Still ignoring the, the planeswalkers. So I'm attacking with all these two ones. 
So like a, a saddle could gain us like a whole lot of cards. Basically, do I want to tick up on a land? Do I want to attack with a land also? Yeah, might as well. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, I had to put the loyalty counter on the Chandra so that they don't. Had to put the loyalty count on the Chandra so that the Sphinx didn't uh, kill the Chandra. I wonder how many times they can cast Settle. So I have three lands left. Or four. Or I have two lands left. That was basically a draw six. Planar Cleansing would be uh, devastating, obviously, but we did get a lot of lands out of our deck. There's only 23 to begin with. And that's 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're, we're out of 13 lands. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. Oh yeah, is Twitch doing September again? I remember they did September last year, but I don't remember exactly what September is. But I remember that term from last year. It's half off subs. Well, that's pretty great. The land fights for us. I said I have two. I have two lands left. Only time will tell. Yeah, that was me draw, draws land immediately. I was like, well, we basically we have hardly any lands left in the deck. Draws land immediately. It's pretty classic me. So now there's only nine lands left out of the 36 cards. So exactly one fourth of our deck is land. It's like playing with a 15 land deck immediately. Or originally. Bigger they are, well... Awesome, Caster. You know. Good job. When the land speaks, 
I shall listen. Hmm. Alright, three lands out. So now there's only six left. That is pretty annoying. And we have to draw a mountain next turn. I'd rather draw Embercat than Mountain. <laughs> yeah, they they could uh, play Fall of the Thran Ashiok. You never know. You never know. I would like to recast this fry, please. Wait, what? Oh, no! Oh, I forgot about that part of Wanderer! Oops. That's a good use of the oops emote. Right there, good quality use. The elements. <laughs> hey, yep. Reading chat. Well, yeah, I, mean, I guess if they wrath here, they get rid of their Lyra Dawnbringer. Yeah, actually, wraths are just good for me, so. You can be a four three two, Ember Kitty. Yeah, so the the fry is non non combat. Da you know, the fry deals damage, which is not during combat, so that's non combat damage. And Wanderer says prevent all non combat damage that would be dealt. To you and other permanents you control, so it prevents the damage to uh, Lyra. Ugh, training is so hard. Well, Lyra has first strike. The land, if we put on the land, the land does not trade with Lyra. Lyra has first strike. Oh, but the land has indestructible. Gotcha. I 
I forgot about that part. So this game's just gone so slow. I've been kind of checked out. <laughs> this game's taking so long. My mo my phone has one minute left. Realize that. Yeah, just kind of going through the motions, to be honest. That is, that's always been my weakness as a player. Like when I'd, when I would play, um, when I play turn like tournaments and everything, my biggest weakness was playing against a really slow opponent, because I would just kind of check out. So they do have. Warrant, so I assume they're gonna cast Warrant here with the, the Warrant Warden part. Decrees the Sorcery, I don't think they could cast the Sorcery here. I think this is the second time that I'll win a game on time on Arena. That's certainly the worst way to win a game, is on time. <sighs> yeah, I, I think the timer is a good addition. Because um, the timer, it's also just a lot of time. Like, having 30 minutes for each person, you know, regular match of magic, you have... You know, like if you're playing in paper, you have 50 minutes for the round, but that includes all of the shuffling and, and everything else, and just like the arranging, you know, like your your permanents, everything, um, and then of course like the time with sideboarding and everything in in paper, uh, you know, so you only have 50 minutes, and so they could easily have just done 25 minutes here because it doesn't count sideboarding or anything, but 30 minutes, you have a lot of time. Actually, I'm kind of wondering about that, though. I'm not sure, so I could be wrong. I, I just don't know here. But I kind of feel like uh, I was looking at, like, my timer before, and my opponent submitted their deck before I did, and then the extra time that I took sideboarding where my opponent wasn't sideboarding was docked on my time over here. I'm... I feel like that could have been a thing, but I am, like, not confident at all that that is a thing. I don't know if anybody knows if that's a thing or not, like, for sure. But yeah, here on Arena, they give you 30 minutes, plus there's no, sh there's no shuffling. All this stuff is very fast to play. You know, it takes it takes less time to do that and then like the time's gone you know it took me like eight seconds or whatever my turn like in paper of just drawing the card and everything would take more than eight seconds yeah they get yeah 30 minutes is, is a ton a ton of time but yeah I I like that it's that because yeah because because 
Exactly. Combo decks, like, you have to click through everything here on Arena, which takes a whole lot longer than paper. Like, I, I think it's, I think it's, the 30 minutes is perfectly fair. Basically. Yeah, Kendis, I can. But, yeah, I can do that for you. But yeah, it's not it's not one that I would normally play t as much of. You think your timer should just be two minutes? All right, opponent's taking two minutes. I win. I haven't not taken two minutes yet. They took two minutes first. Yeah, I do too. Um, I bought a couple of months ago. I bought a, a brand new laptop or a, with good specs and everything that. Um, like that I wanted to be able to use for arena here uh, you know I, that's the only reason why I bought it was so they could use it for arena so I wouldn't have to sit on my desk whenever I'm making like decks and everything for the stream and trying out stuff and everything um, but it arena just doesn't really work on the laptop even though it's a brand new laptop um, I think that it's it's kind of more of the internet connection, though, from what from everything I've tried to diagnose. Ah, I guess a, Arena. I bow to no one. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so that yeah, that's that's what I do. I actually just have to reduce the the resolution. So like whenever I play on my laptop, I actually go down to like whatever's under 540. I I use that, and then it works well. It's like 432 or something. I mean, I already know what all the cards do, so like it doesn't matter because like I can tell, like I can see like a little bit of the card. I know what it does by like just like the picture. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? Um, OBS. I don't. I don't have OBS on my. La I'm talking about on my laptop, like not not like while I'm streaming and stuff. Voodoo. Let's see. We lost the mono red earlier. Same kind of thing, you know, we just had three lands, and they, if they kill our, you know, we play against a deck that kills mana creatures really easily, like Mountain Red does. Looks like we're going to struggle. I've, I've worked with different, I've worked with people with the laptop. It's, it's something to do with, like, it's, I mean, it's, it's something to do with my router. Like, that's. I think that's where the the trouble is is with the router because the, the laptop is is a good laptop i think i need to call the internet company and get a new router but i'm kind of lazy so i just play on 432 or whatever's under 540. yeah we could use some lands in the sideboard honestly because my mana creatures aren't going to stay alive. Um, See, like, we have a five-card hand.
I guess we keep, we have a lava coil. Chandra, yeah, Chandra can recast Lava Coil, I guess, if we can get to Chandra. But assuming assuming the Ember Cat dies, which is, you know, like, going to happen against Mono Red. There we go. That's, that was a great draw. Probably, our, honestly, our best draw on our deck. Yeah, that was honestly the best draw on the deck. Keep on drawing lands. Embercat, Embercat obviously dies. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Well. So just that, you know, n another game, same story. We have. Five drops we can't cast. I, I could have mulligans. And maybe I should have. We can do this together. Yeah, I saw the new Planeswalker. I have no idea what the the well, the first do. plus is. I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk too much about the card because you know some people maybe don't want to. I mean, I don't know why, or if, I don't know if there are people that wouldn't want to discuss. I don't know. But I don't know if there's people that don't want to hear about the cards and for a, until a certain time. But I can't. I can't really think of why not. It's not like it's not like a, you know, spoiling a movie or something. Study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. So I guess yeah. There's not really. It's not like we're talking about the ending of a movie. But the card has that that tick up of says create hey, a food easy. token. I don't know if anybody here. says what a food token is, I have no idea what that is. So I... Um, walk it off, Chandra. I don't know what that, what that means at all. But that, that first plus one ability is amazing. You need more control. Yeah, you know, just imagine turning like you know your rock Golos, you know, Cavalier Thorns. Imagine turning any any creature you want into a three three by just ticking up. It's honestly too early to, to tell what decks are going to be strong after rotation. Standard's going to completely change. If you would have asked, if you would have like think about like after M20, if you would ask what what decks are going to be strong after M20, there is not a single person that would have said the word scape shift. There's not a single person that would have said vampires. Those were not things. But after M20 or elementals, nobody would have said elementals. That wasn't a thing either. So like it's the same kind of thing. So like standards going to change a lot. So it's really hard to say. No, I didn't Vladimir. Don't worry. I brought company.
So we're taking six damage here if I don't block. I mean, also we're just dead. Because of course Ember Hauler can do another two, but like them being able to minus the Chandra's here. We've we've been dead for a while though. No, we don't we don't really have enough lands in the deck. So mono, I mean, to be honest, like looking at this deck, it doesn't, our deck was not built with beating mono red in mind, and that's okay. Um, what our deck does do, come on, there we go. All right, so we went one and two. Our deck does have some really good synergies that we, we uh, got to see there um, with the, the ability to go really wide with Scourger and Chandra making the elemental creatures, and then pumping them up with Trailblazer, making them two ones. Domri, you know, make them a three one if they're in there. You know, Chandra gives them another plus two to the power. So I did like the the go wide ability with Chandra, Domri, Trailblazer. That looked pretty nice. But we don't have very much, you know, some problems with the deck. We don't have very much interaction, of course, and and that's okay, but... You know, I would have liked to be able to use like Chandra's minus a little more, um, but but really the main thing is we're relying on Llanowar Elf staying alive, which is not that's not a good spot to be because <laughs> Llanowar Elf dies to everything. So relying on Llanowar Elf to stay alive is not a good spot. But yeah, you need Ember Cat also to stay alive, which dies to almost everything. Where well, Llanowar Elf is everything. We never drew Leafkin. We had Leafkins in the deck. We didn't see Leafkin a single game ever, which is. Kind of weird, but yeah, we never do that. But yeah, like if if these mana creatures aren't staying alive, you know, against aggressive deck with burn spells that kill your things and then attack you, what what does our deck do against a deck like that? Like that, all right. So they kill little creatures and then attack you. Well, our little we all we have are little creatures, and then we have planeswalkers that just get attacked, um, and then we just have like more little creatures. The only thing that's like not a little creature or gets attacked are these five drops. And so we couldn't really cut the five drops against Mondor Red because they're like the only cards that, that can actually win the games. But because of these things getting killed and us not having lands, you know, with us only having 23 lands, we couldn't actually get to the, the cards that could help us. But honestly, against Mono Red, um, this is okay because the deal two damage, but four mana deal two damage is not very good. This is not good. The three two is not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. We don't... Leafkin's okay, because that's three toughness, but still, three toughness, pretty easy for the red deck. We basically don't have any cards that are good against mono red, and we got paired against mono red twice. So our, our deck, you know, so that's just a really, really bad matchup for us, basically, and, and it really shows the, the weakness in some of our cards uh, with how our, you know, our three drop gets shocked and um, our four drop completely... Our four drop just dies to Chain Whirler, yeah, like we <clears throat> we have like some um, a real weakness and all of that. But yeah, living twister is good, but yeah, if, so we could have like more removal and then yeah, creatures with with better toughness, um, uh, you know, more sweepers and you know all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we could have like yeah, uh, living twister like you said. Sideboard we could have you know like ripjaw raptors and. Um, I don't know other things, you know, like there's there's ways for Gruel to be good against uh mono red, but these are not the creatures to do it, basically. Um so kinda tough for us. Um, you know, obviously like uh obviously we, we got to do some cool things with it. Um uh, I think this deck that we're playing here is probably pretty good against like we we did play against that that blue white control deck, but just even even a normal Esper deck that's looking for a lot of one for one stuff. I think that's where we could really um, shine with cards like Scampering Scourger that go really wide and and even just like your 
your other like green like your other green creature decks that aren't really killing a whole lot of your stuff that let your mana creature survive this kind of deck could go wide and a big because all of our elementals can have you know can be really big if we got a couple trailblazers or domery or the novice pyromancer in play uh this deck can do a lot of damage um but uh the let's see probably the first one but anyway that's that's cruel elementals as our donation deck here um there uh it it does kind of seem like like this deck should just you know it's even though we have some good aggressive elements to it it probably should just be teamer and have risen reef and so all these things just get you just a bunch more cards risen reef just helps you hit so many land drops um and everything but it was nice trying out something different so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it hope you learned some stuff there um and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there but thanks for watching gruel elementals and i'll see you for the next video